All right, and in this video, I just want to do some examples of adding and subtracting complex numbers. And the idea is pretty straightforward um, when you're adding and subtracting complex numbers. You basically just, you can almost treat the i like a variable. You can think about it that way. It's definitely not a variable, but when you're adding and subtracting, it kind of feels like one. So what I mean is uh, the following. So. So suppose we want to do uh, 8 minus 3i plus 5 minus 6i, so our first problem here. So you could think about there's, there, there being a positive 1 in front of both sets of parentheses. <clears throat> so if you distribute that, you would simply get 8 minus 3i, and then positive 5 minus 6i. And now I just combine uh, like terms. So I've got an, a positive 8 and a positive 5. If I add those together, that'll give me a positive 13. We have a negative 3i minus 6i. If we combine that, combine that, we'll get a negative 9i. It's definitely normal to write the, uh, the imaginary part second and the real part first. So this would be considered simplified, um, and we would be done. So again, nothing too bad. In part b, we have 10 minus 7i minus 3 plus 4i. So again, in this case, you can think about uh, there being a positive 1 out front and also a negative 1 in the second term. So if we distribute, we'll get 10 minus 7i. Now we have to be careful when we distribute our negative to change the signs. So we'll get a negative 3 and then a negative 4i when we distribute. And again, now I'm just combining. I see a, a positive 10 minus 3. 10 minus 3 will simply give me 7. And then we have a negative 7i minus 4i. That will give me a negative 11i. All right, uh, one more here. So we have 3i. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this out. If, if you think about there being a negative 1, we'll get a negative 4 minus 2i. So negative 4 minus 2i. And then if you imagine there being a positive 1, when we distribute, we'll simply get a positive 5 plus 9i. And again, now we're simply combining all of our like terms. I do the, uh, the real parts first, so I see a negative 4 and a positive 5. Uh, negative 4 plus 5 is going to leave me with a positive 1. And then if we do 3i minus 2i, that'll give us 1i. And then 1i plus 9i will leave us with a positive 10i. And we have now simplified our third expression.